Hey, good morning, Woke Warrior. Uh, let me give you a super secret here about uh, how how a person thinks. Successful, sort of successful person thinks. Uh, more like an opportunity, entrepreneur-minded person thinks. And uh, they just kind of spot it. And one of the big thoughts that they go through is uh, problems, complaints, problems, uh, issues going on in the world. They see it happening. They see a pain. They see a problem. And they're like, hmm, I wonder if there's a product around that. And then behind the product, there's a, a solution. And then behind that solution, there's a business. And behind that business is an income stream, a money stream. And so uh, what brings us up today is this is the morning here. And I'm just making some bulletproof coffee here. Boom, boom, boom. And I put some coconut butter in it. Or sorry, coconut oil in it. And uh, this is, you want to get cold pressed. Uh, I, I'm a bulletproof coffee fan. And uh, so what I did is I take this coconut oil. And usually it's solid, but it's, a, it's in the summer right now. When I'm talking to you this, so it's above room, te uh, it's above melting temperature, and so when I ooh, how did that get there? I don't remember buying that. Did my wife buy that for me. Leave me a present. Aww, aww, so sweet of hers. Anyways, I poured it into the blender there, and it, the oil drips all over the side of it. <laughs> And it makes it really messy, and I have to like lick the side of the jar to get the oil. And I'm not terribly 100% in love with the taste of coconut oil, like just raw as is. I get, I can stand it. Um, I can grab like a towel or something like that, wipe it all down. But then the towel's all oily, and then and then I set it here, and the counter gets all oil. It's just a big pain. So what would stop? So uh, so. That's a pain, like, I don't want to do that. That's kind of how inventions are made and, and all that. And so what you could do is invent a product. It would be pretty easy to do. Like, obviously, it's got to be glass, but you can even, like, just put a lid on it, like, kunk, kunk, right on the side. They probably got something there out there like that already. And you just click it on the side, dunk, dunk, and it pours in, so that way the oil doesn't go anywhere. Not to mention there's a waste of oil. Huh? So it just like clicks on the side or the jar itself, kind of like they got the easy squeeze bottles, easy squeeze. The ketchup industry discovered that about ketchup. They realized that most of their ketchup users were coming from kids and kids were struggling with that glass bottle with like the port, like where it goes over the top and it, goes, and it takes forever to, to, to pour, bloop, bloop. And kids were struggling with it. So the, the ketchup in Heinz discovered that Oh, it's kids. So they use the, they change everything over to easy squeeze bottle for the kids. They kind of like, they solved the pain, they solved the problem, and then they had their own special ergonomic ketchup bottle. So what's to stop anybody from creating a little product that goes like that, but just marketing it to people like me, people bulletproof coffee drinkers, that struggled with that. It's real easy to find those bulletproof coffee drinkers. They're all... They're all fans of Dave Asprey. He's got like a couple million, and so they just target his million plus fan fan uh, audience on Facebook, and uh, say, "Hey, you got this thing? Let's say they sell the thing for a dollar, send it free plus shipping, and then uh, send it to them, and then have like a follow up after that, where like upsells or something like that. Say, hey, well, since you got that." Because now they're your clients and your customers, and maybe there's other bulletproof coffee stuff you can send, send them. And I don't know, find, find another bulletproof, but, but uh, you can even sell, sell that for like $10. I would easily, if that was the only place in the world where I could get that, I would easily spend $10 to get that little, little thing. Or your own line, let's say you want to get into the coconut oil world, your own line of coconut oil. And you just sell coconut oil to, it's your special brand of coconut oil to the Bulletproof Coffee Drinkers. And it's got that special top on it. So now we're a lot like the line of those ketchups, that ketchup earlier. So you're walking through the grocery store or you e-commerce ship it or whatever. And all of a sudden it's like, because that's the only reason I buy coconut oil. That's it. I cook eggs with it. And that's it. 
So it's like, hey, are you Bulletproof Coffee? Here. Here's our version of coconut oil. It's what you need. And um, I'm sure Dave Asprey's got his own coconut oil line of supplements like that. So anyways, I got some coffee to drink, so I got to get to it. Lots of writing to do today. I got to finish up uh, two books. Finish up two books and then a uh, funnel to finish today. Oh, and I got some awesome news to tell you about later. I just got signed up on a cool new program. Uh, so I'll take you on the journey of this cool new program. I'll tell you all about it. Welcome away. It's been fun. It's been happy. I hope that helps you out in your business. Just give you an idea, way to think. Think about the problem. Think about complaints like, eh. Because that's where the money's at. Where people are like, eh. Uh, I don't like that. Uh. When they're the pain, the problem, they're down there, the struggle. And then they're, they, they pay money to get that going. That's a beautiful business business model there. We'll talk to you next time. Go get them.